Hey, what's up, everybody? Listen, I want to invite you to join us this Sunday at either our 930 a.m. service or our 11 a.m. service. And this is not a normal invitation to church. I'm really, 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 truly extending a special invitation, a specific invitation to anybody that's ever had a question about the Bible, about Jesus Christ, even more specifically about Christianity. If you've ever questioned whether or not Christ really is uh, the way, the only way to the Father, questioning whether or not he really died and rose from the dead, Maybe you've even questioned whether or not the Bible can really be trusted since it's been handled by the hands of men and maybe perhaps they left something out or added something to it. If you have these questions, I want to encourage you to join us at the Freedom Church. We are a church and a ministry that encourages thinking. We encourage people to ask questions. We encourage people to get a full understanding of what you believe as opposed to believing some hand-me-down gospel that you have not investigated and perhaps because you have not investigated it, you cannot properly articulate it. You ever met a believer or a Christian who struggled to answer the very basic questions about their faith? And their, their major comeback generally is, well, my pastor said. At the Freedom Church, we despise those kind of responses because if you're going to be an intelligent, articulate believer and a follower of Christ, we believe that it is mandatory that you be able to explain why you believe what you believe in a way that is not offensive and you do not take offense to those who disagree with you or you don't take offense to those who don't believe what you believe. It's time for the body of Christ, Christians more specifically, to be able to articulate with the most clearest articulation possible what it is we believe and why we believe it. I'm challenging you this Sunday to come, sit and listen. We're taking three of the top questions that millennials are asking and these are age old questions. They aren't new but they continue to come up because there's a searching going on. There is a generation who wants to know the truth and they don't want to be misguided, but they don't want to be misled either. And I think it's our responsibility as the body of Christ to provide these kind of answers. So this Sunday, both services, 9.30 a.m. and 11 a.m., I will be teaching from the three top questions millennials are asking. Question number one, if Christianity was used to keep black people submissive, why should we follow it? Question number two, can I believe in God and not the Bible, which was written by people who have probably changed it or left things out? And question number three, other than the Bible, is there any proof to all that is talked about in the Bible? Because all we're getting, all we're really getting is passed down information. Those are the three questions from the millennials that we're going to be dealing with this Sunday. I promise you, if you'll just come sit and listen, you may receive something that may change your life. You may hear something that might encourage you to take a different direction. It may fortify your faith. It may even give you a firmer foundation uh, to continue to build your faith on. I'm telling you, I'm excited about this Sunday, I'm excited about answering these top three questions. And who knows, if this goes well, we may take a, a few more questions and do this again in a week or two after Mother's Day. Join us. The address is 828 North Houston Road, Warner Robins, Georgia. Two services, 9.30 a.m. and 11 a.m. We start promptly. Service normally lasts uh, 60 minutes to 75 minutes, and I promise you, you will be blessed. 90% of our congregation dresses casual, and when I say casual, I literally mean blue jeans and t-shirts. So having something to wear specifically to church is never an issue at the Freedom Church. Come as you are, but come willing to hear to learn, to expand your thinking, and to have somebody explain to you from a biblical perspective, from a historical perspective, and from a scientific perspective, why we believe what we believe as Christians, why African Americans and Blacks can follow Christ in spite of those who use the Bible to perpetuate slavery and keep Black people submissive. And last but not least, how you can trust the Word of God to know that it is the inspired word of God, even though it has been handled by the hands of men. I'll give you proof. I'll give you evidence where you can understand why it can be and should be trusted. Because it is the legitimacy of God's voice, the legitimacy of God's insight, and the legitimacy of God's perspective. I look forward to seeing you this weekend. Don't miss our services. You will be blessed. 9.30 a.m. and 11 a.m. Hope to see you there.